What's up guys, this is Farjana, welcome to my another Elementor tips and tricks tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can create this kind of animated block inside our Elementor layout. So we can create any kind of shapes or any kind of animated blob with our image or with any sections as we need. When you add any simple and cool things inside your website, that will also turns your website to a next level and also if you are a developer and if you like to add different kind of own custom things inside your website that will also attract your clients all right to create this kind of animated blob i just use some custom code inside elementor so here you need not to install any extra plugin so it will not lose your website speed also Alright, now without any further ado, let's get started. Here, I'm taking a new section and for example, I'm taking a two column structure and this section, I'm making it to the screen size. So, going to the section edit and height, I'm making it to fit to screen. And now, here I want to create a blob and after that, here I will add some text and images as normal grid layout. So first going to the plus icon and now I'm searching for HTML and I'm taking these widgets and here I will add some code to create a blob design. So I'm going to a new tab and searching for blob maker and here we will find some different website from here we can also create different kind of blob as per our need. So for example I'm going here blob fashionhacks.com blob maker and here we can generate our blob design so we can change it from here complexity number of blobs i want to make one blob and we can play with all these options then from here we can select color for this blob here is the normal color or here is the gradient color we can set different gradient color for it we can set some color manually or here is some predefined color and also instead of the color we can set it as pattern or we can use any image inside the blob shape or here is the outline for now i'm going to set a gradient color for example i'm taking this color for now and from bottom change blob we can also change the shape from here and it will work as random we can make it to the center and change blob position Alright, so after creating the blob, now I'm going to copy the code from here and copy code. Now going to our Elementor Builder and paste it. Alright, and now for this section, I'm also changing the background color to a dark color. So from here, going to Style tab and for background, I'm going to add a dark color. Alright, and now if I go to the blob and from here if we want to change the color to a different color we can also do that if we check the code from here here is the linear gradient and here is one color and this is for another color here is the first color I'm changing the RGB to a different color I'm making it to red and the second color I'm making it to blue or instead of this you can use any color code which you like and also if we want to change the blob shape or the size for that I'm going to the advanced tab and first I'm changing the position so going to positioning and now width I'm making it to inline and vertical align it's okay from the position i'm making it to absolute and now we can move it or place it in anywhere 
So changing the position. And now we can also increase the size just dragging it. And now I want to make it as animated shape. So for that going to content and from here if I look at the code and here is the SVG and inside that here is the path. So from here we will keep the class fill and here I just need to cut it from here the D or this is the positioning for this shape. I'm going to cut it and inside the path tag here press enter and I'm adding a new HTML tag animate and also closing it and with the animate tag for the first one I need to add some attribute for animation so I'm typing attribute name so here the attribute name if I check also the code again so here the attribute name is D and all these values will add inside our value attribute so I'm typing D and then we will add some more attribute like we need to add the animation duration animation loop and values so for duration I'm typing dur d u r and it can be for 10 second then repeat count capital C it will be indefinite and finally values here I'm going to paste the attribute values. I'm removing the D and also removing another comma from end. Alright, and now for the values, I need to create some random shape and then we have to add it one after another. So if I go to the blob maker site, crossing another tab, and from here click on the change blob and now if i again going to copy the code and if i copy the value for d going to copy and here after these values enter a clone sign and then add some spacing and going to add another values and we can see our shape is start changing so it's changing the shapes from our one shape to the second shape very slowly it's taking time 10 seconds for this changing and this changing is working as repeated way and now I'm going to add some random shape in the same way so now if I again going to change shape and going to copy the code so going to copy the values for D again and in the same way here going to add a colon sign then press enter and adding another values all right so it's creating a nice animation and now in the similar way I'm going to add two more shapes and finally I'm going to copy the values for the very first shape from the top and then I'm going to add this one to very last so when it's working as a loop you see now it's changing repeatedly and when it's changed to the first one it's doing very instantly so to make it more smooth i'm adding the first shape below of this and now if we see it's looking very smooth all right we are done with the shape creation and now i'm going to add some widgets inside our section so now for the first one here I'm going to add some text and on the right side we can add some images so from here going to add text and also going to customize our text alright and now on the right side I'm going to add the image module and here we can add any kind of image or if we want to match the image with the shape of the blob so here we can add a circle or triangle or different shaped image so I'm going to upload the image I'm going to set it this kind of image so it will match with the shape and now here I want to put the image 
top of the blob shape if i click on this blob and going to advance jet index i'm making it to one or zero yeah now we can see it's below the image and now we can move it to in the same position with the image so it will look good we can do it manually from here or we can move it and we can also increase the size also we can increase the image size if we hide the panel so it will look like this yeah so now you can also customize or design it as per your need and now if i want to create more shapes we can just simply duplicate these widgets click on right click and duplicate and for this one we can make it smaller and finally after that we can change the position for another shape all right so hope you understand the concept and you can create any kind of shape just following my step-by-step -step process hope this tutorial will help you if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video